Hello students, so we are dealing with trigonometry. As you know trigonometry deals with right angle triangles, the sides and the relationship of any angle with the side. So let us start, here there is a right angle triangle ACB in which angle C is 90 degree and angle B and A can be any acute angle because if one is 90 then the other two should be less than 90 so they will be acute angles. Now I will just give you an example to let you understand trigonometry better. Suppose you draw a triangle like this in which you keep this angle as 90 and you keep this angle as 60 and this angle as 30. Listen to me what I am telling you, you put this angle as 30, uh, sorry 60 and this angle as 30. So you will say, you will see the ratio of the side opposite to 30 degree if it is 5 then the hypotenuse will be 10. The ratio of the side opposite to 30 degree, this we have taken 30, if it is 5 centimeter then the ratio of this side to hypotenuse will be 1 by 2 that means this will be 10 centimeter. Are you following what I said? Once more try to understand if you have taken your right angle triangle and exactly drawn this way and this angle you have kept at 30 degree. Now all of you may be having different lengths. So, if somebody is, has taken this as 4, this will be 8. The ratio of the side opposite to the acute angle concerned, what is the acute angle concerned? I said this is 30. So, if you have drawn 30 degree, this 90 and this 60, whatever whoever you are, if this angle is 30, so whatever be the length of this side, hypotenuse will be double of that side. That means the ratio of these two sides is constant. And same way the ratio of these two sides will be always constant. That means if you many friends, many of you all draw right angle triangle in which one of the acute angle is 30 and all of you will have sides of different lengths say for example. But when you will find out the ratio of the side opposite to this angle 30 degree and hypotenuse, all of you will find that the ratio is 1 is to 2. So, for a given angle and same thing happens when the when you change the angle then you will get different ratio but for the same angle suppose you have taken 42 all your friends have taken this as 42 then the ratio of the side in front of the 42 degree and the hypotenuse will be constant for all of you. Yeah, it will be different than 1 by 2 but it will be some ratio which will be equal for all. For, si for 30 degree the ratio of the side opposite to 30 degree and hypotenuse will be always 1 by 2. So, this is how trigonometry was di uh, discovered and these ratios were given names alright. So, first of the name was given was the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse was called as sin theta. So, sin theta is actually perpendicular by hypotenuse, I will write it P by H. Cos theta is the ratio, the name given to the ratio base and hypotenuse, base by hypotenuse. Tan theta perpendicular by base. Cosec theta is opposite ratio of sin that means it will be h by p and sec theta is opposite ratio of cos though it, it will be h by b and cot theta will be opposite ratio of tan so it will be b by p. But then here again also one thing you have to understand what is perpendicular in trigonometry? Perpendicular is the side opposite to the concerned angle. Now suppose I rub this off. For angle B, AC will be the perpendicular, it is the side opposite to opposite to the angle B and then hypotenuse is fixed, this will be always hypotenuse. So, the base will be the side adjacent to the concerned angle that means B, BC will be the base. So, here I have written for angle B, but for angle A, for angle A what will happen? For angle A, the side opposite to angle A will be the perpendicular, so BC becomes the perpendicular and AC is the adjacent side which will become the which will become the base. So, many people they write sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse that means opposite side of the angle which you are taking alright. So, first this you have to be very very clear and then this formula alright. This is the takeaway this formula you have to memorize that this is these are the name given to the ratio perpendicular by hypotenuse ratio name is sin of angle theta which we write sin theta. Base by hypotenuse is cosine of angle theta which we write cos theta. Perpendicular by base is the ratio of tangent of angle theta which we write in as tan theta. Now since P by H is constant which is sin theta, so H by P also will be constant for a given angle. So that is known as cosecant of angle theta, so we call it cosec theta. Then 
base hypotenuse by base is also constant then that is known as what to say secant of angle theta and we will name it as sec theta then cot theta is opposite of tan that means uh, base by perpendicular that is tangent uh, cotangent of angle theta is cot theta did you all understand so here it is written now to memorize this formula you can memorize a slogan which says some people have curly brown hair hair tightly pulled back Now, what does this this happens? You can easily memorize. Sum means only remember the front alphabet as P H sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse, cos theta is base by hypotenuse, tan theta is perpendicular by base. Because this is the only takeaway in this chapter. If you know this, you can solve any problem of trigonometry ratio. Now, first thing is to be very clear. Suppose I put it as 12, then and this is at 5 then obviously the length of hypotenuse you can find out by Pythagoras theorem. So, hypotenuse we know hypotenuse is what? Hypotenuse is under root under root p square plus b square. So, it is how much? 144 plus 25 169 169 root will be how much? 169 root will be 13. So, hypotenuse becomes 13. Now, Suppose the question comes write all the trigonometric ratio in terms of angle A and angle B. Then what we do is we write sin angle A, cos angle A, tan angle A, cosec angle A, sec angle A and cot angle A. Now if you are clever you can straight away write all these ratio. For A what happens this is perpendicular. So, some people perpendicular have. So, 5 by 13. Curly brown hair for A curly brown hair. So, cos theta is base B matlab base and B means base and H means hypotenuse. So, it is 12 by 13. This is for angle A. Are you following what happens for angle A? This is the perpendicular and this is the base hypotenuse is tan theta is perpendicular by base. So, it will be 5 by 12. Now, for cosec you do not have to move here and there just see sin and reverse it. Cos just uh, sec just see cos and reverse it. Cot just see tan and reverse it 12 by 5. This is for angle A. Now, suppose they say for angle B. So, what we do is we again write for angle B sin B cos b tan b cosec b sec b and cot b. So, sin b will be for b perpendicular will be the side in front of angle b. So, 12 by 13 cos b will be base by so it will be 5 by 13 tan b perpendicular by base it will be 12 by 5 cosec b will be what opposite of sin b so it will be 13 by 12 sec b will be opposite of cos b so it will be 13 by 5 and cot b will be opposite of tan b so it will be 5 by 12 all right tan b let us see cot b is base by perpendicular cot b is base by perpendicular so we got it so now <coughs> Adya, Sagarika, Anushka, uh, Kushi, and Ankit, all of you will change this and you will make this now. You will try to make this some now uh, or in your homework. If this is 40, this is 9, find out all the trigonometric ratio in terms of angle A and angle B. Thank you. <music>